fitting that it would end with a victory and perhaps a national championship for Tom Osmond. He leaves us with 255 wins. Now they're going to go for the coach. They got him after all. He doesn't mind, not now. Sooners, of course, uh, takes on a great deal of importance for us. I think a lot of the people in Nebraska have narrowed it down to almost a one-game season where uh, you can do pretty well, but if you don't beat Oklahoma, you've had a bad year. So naturally, there's a lot of heat on us to win. The pitch was out, and the inside pursuit got there in time to stop Sanders. No, from the time. He even missed late in the game. The pitch is outside the sand. He runs for a tackle. people, I think all of them, want to come down on the field as the Nebraska Cornhuskers upset the top-ranked Oklahoma Sooners in a tremendous college football game by a score of 17 to 14. Bitterly disappointing season for the Cornhuskers. Here's the seconds left in the game. Over the middle to Bell. And Bell tackled with one second to go. They didn't stop the clock soon enough. They, that should, uh, they should have a second left here. He was clearly down before the final zero went up. And the officials did not call it. Hosburn can't believe it. Nick, I agree with you totally. He was down. Clock should be stopped. There should be another play. There should have been time, and uh, Osborne very calmly is pointing at the clock, saying, seeing what we did, the five yards to steal it from Florida State and to give Cinderella, Nebraska, a tremendous win and a national championship. And he hooked and left. Florida State wins.
Frazier will throw. It's good. Three-point conversion. Eric Alford made the catch. Option. Frazier keeps. Cuts up. He's got the first down. He's got more than that. He spun down at the 28-yard line. Less than three minutes remaining. Nebraska already in field goal range. See it. Schlesinger has another touchdown. Schlesinger broke free. Coming, what does it mean to you? Well, it means a lot. I'm really proud of the players. Played a great game, a lot of heart. You've come Fourth close, quarter. Coach, you've come close many times. Is it all more sweeter now? Well, it's, it's enjoyable. Let's put it that way. Lawrence Phillips breaking one inside the 10 and touchdown. Nebraska. There they got him. There's the safety. Jamel Williams. See if Wolford goes back to him. That pass picked off. Picked off by Michael Booker. Free room ahead. Michael Booker in for the touchdown. The tailbacks are over seven yards per carry average. Frazier adding more numbers, more yards to those. Big oh, they don't have him yet. Look at Tommy Frazier. How many tackles can one man break? Touchdown. No, they're going to go for the coach. They got him after all. He doesn't mind, not now. So, go ahead and crack a smile. You have won a second straight national championship. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. Since he announced his time, he talked about his great skill as a game coach. With many adjustments. Up and over and in for a touchdown. Amon Green makes it 6 0 Nebraska. Pass deflected and intercepted by Eric Warfield. Warfield at the 30. Frost keeps. Frost touchdown. As a top-ranked defense, the best defense in the country. Frost scores another touchdown. In 25 years at Nebraska, you've coached your last game. How much of that has sunk in so far? Well, that's a, it's a kind of a bittersweet moment. Uh, very proud of the players. Have great appreciation for our coaching staff. Uh, most of what's happened has been due to their efforts and the players. We have great fans. I want to thank them for being here. So it's a, it's a great night for Nebraska. Coach Osborne goes out with his fourth straight bowl victory. He is a man who never changed in 25 years, a phlegmatic, unflappable figure on the sidelines, off the sidelines as well, a man of deep faith and at times blinding loyalty. But at all times, a man devoted to his team, to his state, and to the pursuit of excellence in football. He's leaving in his absolute prime, winning precisely 60 games in his last five seasons, an unheard of 12 wins per campaign. So congratulations, Coach. Regardless of what the pollsters tell you, you went out on top in your silver anniversary season, leaving nothing but golden memories.